I run dog training classes. And one of the classes that I hold is puppy kindergarten. This is the very start of training. And for this, I encourage the whole family to come to the classes. I know a lot of other trainers don't want the children around and usually just ask for the adults, but I ask for the whole family to come. Mainly because I want to see how the children are reacting to this puppy. I'm an ex-school teacher, so I like to see the interaction between the children and the, and the puppies. But now today I want to talk to you about toddlers and children and puppies specifically. I will in further videos touch about older dogs and children and toddlers. But today it's mainly about puppies. Now people go out and they buy this adorable little puppy, they bring it home. It's very, very cute, but it's got sharp teeth. And children cannot cope with these sharp teeth. And this is where you get them screaming, shouting, running away, or heaven forbid, even hitting at the puppy. Luckily, when they come to the training, if I see any of this behavior, I immediately put my school teacher hat on and go into teaching the children what to do. And I know I sound a little bit older fashioned, but I really do get to the children and say, no, that is not acceptable. And some parents disagree and say, oh no, you can't pick out my children. But in fact, it's for the sake of the puppy, which will grow up, you know, to be their dog. And you cannot have children screaming, shouting, hitting, kicking at this puppy because it's nipping them and biting them. There has to be some sort of control. And if it has to come from me to teach the children how to behave, then so be it. But all children need to be under control when there are puppies around. You cannot just have children and puppies together. It is a, rescue, a recipe for disaster, particularly toddlers and puppies. And I've had a few incidences there where uh, people have come to my class and they say, my toddler is not coping with this puppy. The puppy's biting it, pulling its clothing, and the toddler is screaming or hitting at it. And my answer to all these parents is, do not allow a puppy and a toddler, particularly a baby or toddler, to be left alone together. There has to be total supervision. And that means that the puppy's on one side, the baby or toddler's on the other, the parent is there in the middle between them to make sure that there's no incidences. You don't just leave the toddler on the floor, the baby on the floor crawling, puppy runs up to it, pulling on the clothing, biting it. It is not allowed to happen. There needs to be parental control when you've got young children particularly and a puppy. These young toddlers or babies don't understand how to cope with a puppy. Therefore, there must be adult supervision between the two of them. If there cannot be adult supervision, that puppy is kept away. It is not allowed to just have the freedom and go up and around to these, these youngsters. But also, young babies, toddlers can also be taught gently gentle um, uh, rubbing of, of the puppy, can't hit the puppy. You've got to intervene. You can't have a baby going whack, whack at this puppy. They've also got to learn gently, calm down. Then there can be a good interaction. But at all times, there's a parent there, puppy, child. The interaction between the two is totally supervised. And I come back to the, the, uh, what I said a little earlier. You do not leave any child or puppy alone because anything can go wrong. And then you know who gets the blame? Puppy. Not the child. The child could have been sitting on it, crawling over it. Puppy then nips or bites quite badly. Who's in trouble? The puppy. Now it's the same with slightly older children. I also get a lot of children between right up to sort of five, six, seven years of age. And many of those children can't cope with this puppy biting and, and grabbing at them and they run and the puppy runs after them. 
Again, I say to the parents, do not allow a puppy to be unsupervised with children. Even a five-year-old cannot always cope with this young puppy. So you watch it, you watch the interactions between, between the puppy and the children. And I'm afraid many children will hit a puppy, will kick a puppy, and this is not acceptable. And if it means when I see it happening, I do chastise the child. This is not allowed to happen, and it is up to parents to make sure that this doesn't happen. Children and puppies can coexist and get on so well, but it starts with the supervision from the adults. And if the adults are not there to supervise, you do not allow them to be left alone together. And nothing annoys me more than these cute pictures that are put up on Facebook about the puppy and the child. Oh, aren't they so cute? And the child is on top and grabbing hold of the puppy and everybody thinks that's so cute. Absolutely not. And if you're going to do a photo shoot with the puppy and the, and the child, you need an adult between them or whatever. I don't like to see children on top of puppies, grabbing hold of them, squeezing them, doing all that. It is a recipe for a bite. So don't allow it. So what we need to do, if you have a puppy, and young children, everything needs to be controlled, looked at in such a way that nothing will go wrong. Puppies bite, they've got sharp teeth. You give them all the toys, you show them how to behave, you teach the puppies, no, leave the child, don't jump on the child, don't grab, and that's easily done on a lead. Nothing wrong with putting a puppy on a lead and controlling the situation. But in the same way, control the children. Babies, toddlers, children all need to learn how to behave around a puppy. You do that, it'll be a lovely family pet. So children need to be under control, puppies need to be under control. And it has to be done when uh, parents, when somebody is around to watch it. Never leave them alone.